So far, we have created an alignment. We have created a design profile. And now it's time um, to create a corridor. We have also created the assembly that will be used together with the alignment and the profile. How do we create a corridor? We can create a corridor from the create design panel of the home tab. I can click on corridor. And once I click on corridor, the create corridor wizard shows up and I'm prompted to select the, the corridor name rd-1 corridor I'll call it that and then the style I'll leave it to basic the road corridor layer I'll assign it to the C road dash core the baseline type is alignment and profile a baseline can also be formed from a feature line because a feature line has both vertical and horizontal geometry. A feature line is a polyline which has vertical geometry. It possesses uh, vertices which have Z elevation with them. But our baseline type for this exercise is an alignment plus a profile. We select our alignment, we only have one there. And then for the design profile, we select the finished ground design profile. And then for the assembly, we select the RD-1 assembly that we have selected. Then the target surface, we select the topo surface. Remember when we created the assembly at the ends we had a cut slope ditch sub assembly which will target the existing surface and therefore we select that as the target surface and then we sell we set a baseline and region parameter that's okay once we are finished setting up all that we click on okay And here we see the baseline and region parameters. We have our horizontal baseline as the RD-1, our vertical baseline as the finished ground design panel. And also we do have our assembly here as RD-1. And uh, the frequency at which the road cross section will be replicating itself along the alignment is 20 meters. You can customize this to something else if you want. Horizontal baseline, along tangents, 20 meters, along spirals, along curves, you can change that. And we will cover that later. Targets, here you can control the targets. We'll see all about that later. Once we are okay with that, just click on OK and we are prompted to rebuild the corridor. Just click on rebuild and then, then the corridor is created. There is the corridor and if I click on the corridor, right click and go to object viewer, I'll be able to see how the corridor looks like. 